Welcome back to Malta and the world's strongest man as we continue with Group 4's qualifying round. We're at the Valletta Waterfront for the second unique challenge of strength that these six athletes will face. This is the Truck Bowl. These huge poles have been a staple of the competition since the very beginning. Here the athletes will need tremendous leg drive and all the force they can deliver. The arms and upper body help stabilize as they propel the 22-ton truck down the 25-meter course. Well, this is our first competitor, Agris Kazelnix, the three-time Latvian strongman, finished sixth in the first event. So he'll need some points here, but he's under the tutelage of Raymond's Bergmanis, Kaz. And here's a guy that finished on the podium back in 2002. That should help him a lot. At 6'3 and 342 pounds, Agris has the kind of weight and body mass he likes for this event. Calves like tree trunks and quads to match. Well, he has got the 44,000-pound load moving. Now, Kaz, how difficult is it going first and setting the mark to beat? It's extremely tough, but you've got to sell out. You've got to dig down and go hard. I don't see him doing it. He's just tiptoeing through the tools with this truck. Short steps, Kaz. He doesn't have much of a tilt there. What could he do better here? The technique has to be drop in, take the pain. You can teach technique, but not guts. So Agris Kazelnix coming up on the final line. He has gone past 50 seconds, Kaz. Maybe not the best pull of his life. Nope, using calves the whole way through. 56.88, that becomes the mark to beat. Agris Kazelnix of Latvia. And Kaz, he'll go over and talk to his coach, Raymond's Bergmanis. What do you think he's going to tell him? Well, Raymond's was all about effort in this event. I just didn't see that kind of effort for Agris. With a slow and just leaning start, Agris relied on his calves to do the work. But it takes three trunk power to pump this truck up to full speed. And that's all about quads and staying low. That takes us to Norway's Richard Skoog, who's currently in fourth place overall. Richard spent six years in the Norwegian Army, so I'm sure he's not afraid of a little bit of pain. Take the strain. Are you ready? I look for him to get down, pull hard on this course. Small slip to start things off. Remember the mark to beat, Kaz, put up moments ago by Agris Kazelnik, 56.88. All right, analyze his tilt. Look how low he's getting. Now that he's got it moving, he's tall, but he's a little bit lean and kind of light. Skoog goes 6'5", 346 pounds, the 28-year-old Norwegian. He's using his arms very well and driving with his legs. Nice form. This is Richard Skoog of Norway, 56.88. Kaz, I think he's going to beat it. Just accelerating all the way through the finish. That's what you like to see. Big effort. And at the line, the Norwegian will stop the clock with a new mark to beat. Richard Skoog, 46.75 seconds, your new leader in the truck pole. Richard Skoog lost his footing, but somehow managed to keep his composure and set the new mark to beat. He's standing by with Kaz. Richard, that was a pretty tough start. Great recovery. Tell us about it. Yeah, hard start. A little slippery. But then I get the momentum. It was good. Felt lighter and lighter. Should have been like 50 meters longer. Good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, guys. That'll take us to the headliner of the group, Travis Ortmeyer of the United States. Travis is in third place overall, but with this and four more events to come, there's plenty of time to get in the top two and advance to the final. Travis is the kind of guy who thinks bigger is better. He loves the challenge like a 44,000-pound truck. The numbers on Travis Ortmeyer from Texas, 6'4", 330 pounds for the 28-year-old. Big struggle at the start. Leaning, slipping, that's not good. It costs you a lot of time. Well, Norway Scoob put up the time to beat, 46.75 seconds. And Kaz, why is he having difficulty here? What's going on? Well, his position is higher than you'd like to see. He's had problems with his footwear. He's had several minor slips here that have cost him power and time. Well, he's now moving that truck pretty effectively. The mark to beat, 46.75. It's going to be close. And he's diving down for the pain, but it's too little too late. And he stops the clock, 49.13 seconds for the American Travis Ortmeyer. 
That'll put him currently into second place. For a guy of Travis's caliber, that's not the kind of result you'd expect. And frustration for Ortmeier. Two explosive performances yet to come. Chalet of England and Orho of Sweden. When we come back.